I charged my camera for like two hours and now that I check it's only at like 10% so I'm gonna record the first part on my phone since I really don't have time I'm gonna go to the amusement park scene I'm gonna have fun <laughs> this is my intro everyone hello hello is this a good angle oh no you can see my nose hair I'm just gonna make it like this so what we're gonna do today is that we're going to uh, try to understand different artists and the artist that i'm gonna try to understand is the bloop 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 i'm just gonna put in some pictures and you'll probably see which artist i'm talking about it's um i absolutely love and adore this artist's style and technique and ability to tell story it's it's literally magical i've always wanted to paint like that but obviously i can't uh, but today i'm gonna try this is more of a video where i go and i try to make my own tutorial on how i think that bloop would have made their tutorial you get it so this is gonna be more of a like i'm tr trying and that's it. I'm just gonna try. <laughs> so the first thing that I want to do is I want to collect some references and stuff so that I kind of know how like uh, the face structure is gonna be, how the everything's gonna be. It's not like you just start painting and hope that you kind of get it. You know, you have to have like, references and stuff like that. Okay, so this is Bloop's art. Obviously, it's, it's magical. Look at that. Like, just look at that. Bloop has like a very specific way of painting faces, as you can see. So that's kind of what we're gonna go for. Very like pixie, fairy type of vibes. This is Pinterest. This one right there. And we like Pinterest very much. So we're just gonna take... A a reference that we're gonna use this there we go so this is the picture that I found and when you have found the picture that you're kind of interested in if you scroll down there will be more pictures similar to that so you can kind of if you like this aesthetic then you click on that picture and you'll get several pictures with the same type of aesthetic I'm just gonna make a little collage of uh, some of loops paintings and then this one in the middle so I'm gonna show you exactly how that looks like in one a two, a three. So <laughs> this is kind of how it would look like, kind of like a little mood board. I have the reference picture in the middle and then around it I have kind of some of Bloop's earlier artworks and inspiration. So I can just zoom in and kind of, you know, get a, a gist of. I like this, it reminds me a lot of this. So that could be a good reference to kind of have. Uh, but this is the one that we're gonna use so this is just the, the blank canvas and then what I do here on my little iPad Pro is I take this little tab up and then I hold that and I take it there so now I have them side by side and I can kind of you know paint and do whatever as this one is right next to it now I'm gonna switch camera so you can see what I'm doing so here I'm just sitting sketching the base outline. There's a difference and you'll see it later between the base outline and the real outline. Here I'm just trying to get like the, the proportions right, trying to understand where this, the nose is gonna be, where is the mouth gonna be. And later it's more about like getting the style right. Uh, and I'm literally gonna get saved by the lasso tool a thousand times before I get that right. And unfortunately I couldn't really record the part where I do like the final out outline because I was sitting on my couch, I was watching School of Chocolate. So um, a bit distracted, but here it is. The <laughs> finished outline-ish, I'm just adding the jewelry right now and I'm not being that thorough with the jewelry because I don't really know what I'm doing with the jewelry. I, don't, I usually don't paint jewelry, this time I'm gonna have to uh very weird but we're gonna just roll with it now that we have the outline all that we need to do is fill in and do some color blocking so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to use almost the same color palette as bloop usually uses and um, i think that is gonna make the whole thing look very bloop because uh, bloop has a 
very specific color palette. Like as soon as I see a picture or a painting, uh, like from afar, I can see that it's one of uh, Gloop's paintings or at least something that is like inspired by the artist because as I said, that color palette is very, very, very specific. But it's, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna do our best. Amen, sisters, amen. In this part, I'm putting in the base colors, also known as color blocking. And we all need to live by color blocking because it's the best. And what I usually do is I pick a base color, I pick like the dominating color and I just paint everything that color. And then I add in the other colors. And for me, that just makes it easier to kind of understand what colors to use, how the colors will, you know, fit well together and all of that. But you can do it any way you want. I'm not gonna Gonna, like I'm not gonna tell you what to do you live your life the way you want to live your life and you be strong and you be independent all right and if you want to if you want to do like me you can do like me And here I'm just smudging everything out. It's one of my favorite parts because, I don't know, it just feels so satisfying when you have color blocked a lot and then you can just smudge it all and you see the finished results. And here I just use a normal round brush and the smudge tool so it's nothing like spectacular. As long as you have the base done, this is the easiest part of painting. doing I think I'm just showing you like the before and after and I'm making it really tiny for some reason I think I made it tiny so I could see it like from afar which is a good thing to do if you don't do that already do it you can either do it that way or you can have like a tiny reference uh, image nearby I don't do that because it just makes me so distracted <laughs> I just came home from killing my snowman well it was a mercy killing let's just to say that he just needed to die we couldn't just we couldn't keep him anymore in that condition it was really really bad three two one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. Bye>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now the snowman is dead but I'm gonna go and continue on my little bloop painting. I don't know, my hopes are not the, the best, so to say. So I'm just sitting here contemplating my life. Nothing is going as expected. Um, I don't know, it's not really giving me those bloop vibes that I really wanted. It's giving me more of my own art style vibes right now. It's making me really sad. <laughs> How do other people do this? Like, how do other YouTubers do this where they can actually sit and be happy when they're failing completely? Because right now I'm, I'm failing completely and I'm not happy about it. I just want to quit. I just want to give up. Okay, real talk. My hair hasn't been this straight in forever. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just gonna use my phone camera for this because I'm sitting way too comfortably on the couch and I don't want to move honestly so now i'm just gonna go in and do the jewelry and as you can see here i'm, I'm taking inspiration from this <laughs> look copy paste oh. pretty pretty circles and as you can see i'm like kind of making them half shaped because they're overlapping see see 
and I'm not choosing all of them in the same color because we don't want that. I'm doing the same here. Some of them are full circles, some of them are half circles. You just need to know what type of circle to choose. I'm gonna choose a white white color. Dab, 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 drag it down, drag it down a little bit. Whew. And then I'm gonna make this one really white. And this one also really white. And maybe this one to make it white. Right next to the white white ones, I'm gonna use some red because that's what I see here. And I think that represents the skin color. So we're gonna just do that because we don't really have anything else to do. So I'm just gonna put some shadows underneath. Like that. So here, I take the smudging tool and I'm just gonna make sure that's the right size. That. And just to pull it out. To kind of give it this vibe of sparkling. I'm gonna do that on the ones that I don't like light. And then I'm just gonna go in more. What's that? Liquid white? Like that, and now it's sparkling. Look how good we are. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of them. And for the final, final, final finishing touches, I'm just gonna go in and add some more texture to the hair and a little bit of like hair strands going all around the place. I really freestyle here, like I don't even look at any reference picture, I just do whatever I feel in my heart. And that is the finished painting, ta-da! Yeah, I know, it's not very like vloop vibes, but let's say it's like vloop mixed with my own vibes. And I think that's a look at this face, I mean like, doesn't it look good? At least it looks good, right? Thumbs up. At least it looks okay. And the jewelry, I think we did a good job, right? Right? Thumbs up for that too. Yay, yay. Whoop, whoop. Um, this was very stressful to make for many reasons. One of them being that I could not edit this video to save my life. Windows do not, they don't have like a good editing program. So it was really difficult. Eventually I fixed it after like a couple of days of pain, but it was fun. Maybe I might do another one, who knows?